My name is Frank Slater. Once upon a time, in a previous existence, I was going to be the outstanding novelist of my generation. Move to New York, perhaps even smoke a pipe. Anyway, cut a long story short, none of that worked out, and I moved to Harrow instead, where I teach literature to adult students at the community college. It's a privilege to be involved in education, and my job's made a lot easier by the cooperative attitude of my students, who don't require anything too demanding. Frank, I've admired you for so long. Uh, well, you know, it's okay. Your love of art and literature. The way you speak about American writing. Yeah, I, I love speaking about writing. It's so much easier than actually writing. Did you really like my essay on Edgar Allan Poe? I loved it. Uh, who? The horror guy. Oh, oh, Edgar the horror guy. Yeah, absolutely. Your brain turns me on. Your <laughs> intellect. Because to, to me, writing, it's, it, it, it's horny, you know? It, it's like... Orgasmic. Well, you know, it's not everyone who appreciates that. Do you really think I can be a great writer like you said? Well, I, um... Did I say that? Teach me, Frank. Teach me everything you know. I want to suck the marrow of your knowledge bone dry. Now, Amy, have you been taking your tablets? I've thrown the pills away. Ah. They were poisoning me. Your love has liberated me. Amy, I do not love you. What? Well, I mean, not in the sense that... Is this some kind of sick joke? No, uh, You're undermining my integrity as an artist! I'm traumatised! I've got writer's block. Oh. You monster! You'll pay for this! Another satisfied customer. There's Colin and Sylvia, local dentist from the posh end of town. Colin's my best pal. Sylvia's as mad as a hatter, which is a great laugh for everyone except Colin. Evening all. What do you think of the new motor? Hardly new, is it? Where'd you get that? I thought I might supplement my income with a bit of mini cabbing. Two door. You don't know one end of the street from the other. I'm doing the knowledge. Knowledge is power, Frank. Knowledge is power. I'll be round for a drink later. No, you won't. We're having a quiet night in. Just for a change. I'll see you at eight. Why don't you put your foot down? Proust. The meaning of time. H.G. Wells. The Martians as asylum seekers. James Joyce. Upside down. Education, education, education. Time for a pint. Right hand is the floating rim. Let him feel it. Short left, up through the middle. Oh! Frank, what are you doing? You've ruined my workout. Don't worry. I think you surrendered. <laughs> How can I train in this pigeon coop? All of Colin's junk in here. His inventions? He's in the house. Right up. <sighs> True, a body and the head will die. <sighs> what happened? All my fish are dead. How can you tell? They're just floating about on the water, Frank. Well, I isn't that their job? Fish don't float, Frank. They swim. Well, maybe they're asleep. Tap on the glass. I don't know. I invented a new filter system and, uh, and there must be a glitch. <laughs> You've guessed them. Right. Who fancies four rounds out in the back garden? I promise to take it easy. Oh, I I I'd love to, but I've got a mountain of homework to mark. Wimp. Right. I'm going to flush these down the jacksy. Be sure to let us know how that pans out, won't you? Ah, uh, I'll see you down the Highlander, Colin. Fish <laughs> his right hand to the guts and he's spewing up in the corner. Will you pack that up? <laughs> <laughs>